Uh, give me a bit of a sense of what changes you've had to make and what kind of feedback you're getting around this milestone event that is gathering behind you today. Thank you, Yusuf. It's a pleasure being with you. And um, yes, indeed, this is the first live in-person event, not just in the UAE, but in the broader region. And to be honest, it is a testament that the UAE believes that we need to be agile and flexible and really create a new normal where we have to live with the pandemic, but at the same time ensure that people are safe and secure during these times. The changes were many, uh, to be honest. Social distancing is one of the new normals right now. Um, also, constant sanitization, ensuring that there is no such point. So, for example, any giveaways, any documents that were previously given physically today are digitally given between individuals as well. Uh, networking is permitted, but gloves and masks should be put on, as well as safe distance measures. Uh, physical distancing should be um, uh, included as well. So there's a broad array of things that were done, as well as constant monitoring of uh, thermal cameras to ensure that people, before they come into the venue and during uh, the, the time in the venue, um, are within the safe limits of uh, body temperature as well. Yeah. Uh, Minister, there have been changes so, uh, in the government, and I want to get a bit of an idea from you as to how that affects your portfolio. Maybe it doesn't affect it at all. Uh, what's your read on that? So my portfolio was um, uh, broadened. Um, I used to be the Minister of Artificial Intelligence. Today I'm the Minister of Artificial Intelligence, Digital Economy and Remote Work Applications in the federal government. And this is as well uh, evidence that the uh, leadership of the UAE really believe that we need to uh, adapt to the new normal and really make sure that our economy is more resilient, that our uh, government operations are as well more effective. So, for example, the traditional economy has been hammered by the COVID-19 pandemic globally in every market, but the digital economy has been thriving over the past couple of months. So, uh, one of the remits that I was given was to try to expand the digital economy in the UAE and the contribution of that uh, on our GDP. The UAE has been a leader in the digital economy regionally. Uh, if you see the success stories of unicorns, for example, and valuations that have received the billion dollars you've seen them in the UAE through uh, Kareem's acquisition from Uber, Uber.com, and uh, other uh, platforms as well. But then the, the remote work applications uh, side of, of the um, responsibilities yeah. are to uh, that our government is able to operate the same way it has operated uh, during the pandemic, 100% and effectively, but ensuring as well as all services from government can be provided uh, virtually, that we can improve the quality of life. Sure. And, uh, ultimately, both these things are good tie into the AI agenda. Minister, in terms of the potential opportunities, uh, autonomous vehicles is one pocket of uh, quite a bit of enthusiasm. I mean, is that something that's going to come to the UAE soon? Is it going to go mainstream? What do you think of, of Tesla's work in that field as well? So autonomous um, uh, driving is going to come soon. We at the AI office are working uh, a lot on this, as well as uh, another entity that I oversee, which is the Device Future Foundation. We have an arm there called the Device Future Lab, where we've signed agreements with some of the cutting-edge companies in autonomous driving to ensure that we can map out the streets in uh, Dubai and in the UAE to provide uh, autonomous car companies an incentive to come and start up here. Usually it costs a lot of money for them to collect all of this data, but as a government, we can collect it and then give it to them as an incentive to start up. So we are expecting to ramp up on autonomous driving quite quickly over the course of the next five years. I think Tesla and, and Waymo and many of the other competitors as well in this field are welcome to come and test in Dubai. The infrastructure is cutting edge. The um, country as well has very agile policies. So uh, if you want a test bet, I think the UAE and Dubai are really uh, the haven for that. The story that's getting the most traction with clients in our audience right this minute is about Twitter getting hacked. And the hack hit uh, Mr. Obama and uh, Mr. Biden, Mr. Musk, in what is a Bitcoin scam. Uh, we've seen the EU and the EU, the U.S. have these run-ins with these big tech heavyweights, you know, be it Apple or Facebook or Twitter or Google for that matter, when it comes to compliance, when it comes to regulation. Uh, how high up on the agenda is that uh, in, your, in your approach to the AI ministry at the moment? And how much of a concern is it? So, uh, first of all, that was a very surprising tweet. Uh, and they've been linking between the accounts. So Elon Musk was talking about 
uh, Bill Gates giving out Bitcoin and, and you know, doubling the money, uh, which is a very elaborate scheme, to be honest. I think it's planned quite well. Um, uh, honestly speaking, uh, we have been talking about this for years now. Since, uh, since I was appointed, we were talking about, unfortunately, the incentives of collecting data and the incentives of creating platforms are not aligned with the incentives of securing these platforms and securing the data. So we've seen over the years, for example, the Cambridge Analytica scandal, many scandals with regards to data breaches as well, and, and you know, people's privacy being exposed. So uh, there needs to be a government coalition that comes and says to all of these big giants that you need to spend more on protecting these platforms and protecting this data than you are spending on developing them just to, to monetize, so the advertising uh, side of it. And until that happens, I think we're going to continue seeing these breaches. In the UAE, our government genuinely believes that this is going to be something that we need to focus on. So within the new restructuring, there was a position created for cybersecurity and securing all yeah. of our platforms that will really focus on that moving forward.